Regensburg, a beautiful historic Bavarian city on the Danube River. With its old city charm, incredible sights, and delicious food, Regensburg really stole our hearts. Is this our new favorite city in Germany? What's up guys, MJ back again, and today we are in Regensburg. So we just took a train down from Nuremberg down to Regensburg to finish off our vacation and tour of Bavaria, or at least Northern Bavaria, here in Regensburg. So we left the Franconian region. We're down in the middle of Bavaria now, and in a former capital of the state of Bavaria. So we're looking forward to the next few days of hanging out in this city, exploring yet another beautiful Bavarian city, and just enjoying our last few days before heading back to the real world. So it's gonna be an awesome couple days. We are at our hotel now. We just got here a few hours ago and we are staying at the Zorat Insel Hotel, which is right on the Danube River in the middle of the city. And even though it is kind of pouring rain right now, we still have some spectacular views. Check this out. Now we're only on the first floor of this hotel, but the views are beautiful. So you can see the old city, right from where we're at here. And coming up here is the main cathedral downtown and it is gorgeous. I know the weather doesn't make it look that pretty with the gray cloudiness and the rain coming down, but it is beautiful. And just to the left here is the old stone bridge that I believe was built around 1000 AD. It's a major tourist attraction right outside our window. It is beautiful. Genevieve's over here chilling by the window, enjoying the beautiful breeze coming in on this fresh but rainy day. And we're getting ready to head out and get some food and enjoy this next couple days here. So for our first meal here in Regensburg, we came to the Historische Wurzküchen, a fast food place that's been here for over 500 years. Now we're sitting down inside because we want to stay dry in case the rain comes back. We're excited about trying. We're excited about trying the best here from a place that's been here for over 500 years. This place came highly recommended from a few people, so we're looking forward to checking out the best and seeing how good it really is. So we're just finishing up here and we came here for a nice little snack since it's mid-afternoon, we'll get some dinner later, but um, we came here for the historical aspect of the place because it's amazing to be able to eat at a place that is, you know, twice as old as the country we came from. I didn't do the math, but hopefully it's close enough. Um, but it's pretty cool to eat at a place that is this good. So the food itself was okay. It was not anything special. It was not the best of us to be had. In fact, I think in there, really, the prime vegna that we had it was definitely much more flavorful and tasty than what we had here. Um, but again, you come here for the historical aspect of it. And that was really cool just to be able to eat at this place that's so old, right here on the river. And again, famous for what it is in the city. So yes, come here, come here for the historical aspect of it. Just don't come here expecting the best verse you've ever had.
considered the most significant Gothic work in southern Germany, Regensburg Cathedral, or Dom St. Peter, has been a place for people to gather for prayer and religious services for nearly 750 years. It was built beginning around 1280, but not fully complete until 1520. In the 17th century, it was renovated in a Baroque style, but underwent a Neo-Gothic renovation in the 1800s, commissioned by King Ludwig I of Bavaria. With 39 stained glass windows containing over 1,100 preserved panes from the 1300s, gorgeous stone statues, and amazing architecture, this church is not to be missed during your visit to Regensburg. So I didn't bring the camera out tonight because it was travel day, it was a little crazy, and we just were getting a quick dinner and decided to just hop across the river, hop across this cute little bridge behind me and on that side of me too. And I uh, went to a little Italian restaurant place, but it was so good that I just wanted to say like, yeah, this place was worth going to. It's called Pulcinella, and again, right across from the island from where we're staying, a uh, cute little interior, great great service super friendly and the food was delicious so it was a nice night of eating now we're going back to the hotel get some rest and explore the city tomorrow The bridge tower is the last of the original three towers remaining overlooking the historic stone bridge. Built around 1300, it was destroyed by fire in the Thirty Years' War and rebuilt in 1648 when the clock was also added. The tower contains a museum showing the history of the bridge, and when you climb up the historic staircase, you are rewarded with a beautiful view of the city and of the bridge. Free to enter, it's worth the time to visit and enjoy this piece of history. The Basilica of the Nativity of Our Lady seems to be overlooked here in Regensburg, as we managed to have the entire place to ourselves by visiting, but I highly encourage you to check it out. It is the oldest Catholic place of worship in Bavaria, built by Charlemagne's grandson Ludwig in the 800s, and today is considered a masterpiece of the Rococo style. <laughs> Spital Garten was recommended by one of our viewers and did not disappoint. We stopped by for lunch and although the rain forced us to eat inside, the experience was still wonderful. The food was delicious and the atmosphere was pleasant, but a highlight of a visit to the Spital Garten is of course the beer, brewed from the historic Spital Brauerei, which has been brewing beer since around 1350. If the weather is nice, we recommend finding a table outside overlooking the river and enjoying a beer and a meal from this historic brewery. St. Emmeram's Basilica is a Romanesque basilica with a history going back to the 8th century. 
Although it was destroyed and rebuilt many times over the years, it still retains the historical charm and beauty and is a stunning cathedral. The church was originally part of St. Emmerman's Abbey, which was founded in 739 as a Benedictine monastery. In 1812, the monastery was given to the princes of Turn and Taxis and was converted to a residence that is now called Schloss Turn and Taxis, and which is the largest non palatial residence in Germany with 517 rooms covering 21,460 square meters. When the monastery became a residence, the Abbey Church became a parish church. Unfortunately, we did not have quite enough time to visit the Schloss, but we would definitely check it out on our next trip. Another restaurant recommended by one of our viewers, Dickerman was an excellent spot for dinner. Although we were still pretty full from a big lunch at Spitalgarten, the food and atmosphere at Dickerman made for a great evening. The restaurant and the attached hotel, Hotel zum Blauen Krebs, date back to the 14th century and today provide a mix of rustic and upscale gastronomy. So for our last full day here in Regensburg, we stop at Cafe Zippel or Zippel Bakery. Zippel, S-I-P-L. Well, we had to stop here the other day for some pastries and it was delicious. So we came back here for breakfast. The other of my favorites, the Franz Brotchen, and it's actually the best Franz Brotchen I've had. It's had a lot of different places, different spots in Germany. It's so good. The Corbin is devouring his pastry with that cream and strawberries and chocolate. Actually loves her Nussschnecke. And Jenna was really enjoying her plum schnitz cake. And then the cappuccino, of course, it was delicious. And uh, I hope you start my day. The stone bridge or Stein an der Brücke was built in only 11 years in the 1100s and for 800 years was Regensburg's only bridge across the river. It is a medieval masterpiece and emblem of the city. You can't miss it when coming to the city and it is worth learning about the history of this bridge that served as a model for many other stone bridges built across Europe. Well, I wish we can say we saved the best restaurant for last, but that didn't happen. Wittenberger am Dom, with a fantastic location next to Regensburg Cathedral and a classic Bavarian atmosphere, seemed like a great choice for dinner. While the beer, brewed at one of the oldest cluster breweries in the world, was fantastic, the food did not quite measure up to the level we had come to expect in Regensburg. However, there are many great reviews of this restaurant, so maybe our expectations were too high. But if you're in Regensburg and want to try it out, maybe start here before moving on to some of the better restaurants. and it quickly became one of our favorite cities in Bavaria and perhaps even in Germany. This is a city we highly recommend visiting whenever you're in Bavaria for its history, charm, and of course, delicious food. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more adventures here in Germany.